Hi, Dalek from Groovy Entertainment. Today, today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman with Batman and Robin, Story 2 for 1945. So let's get started. Come on, Pep. The super delicious cereal presents the adventures of Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman! Yes, it's Superman, and today as we begin our brand new adventure for the Man of Steel, a cunning trap is being set for the girl reporter Lois Lane. While Superman was solving the strange mystery of the dwarf in the North Woods, a sinister plot was being prepared against Lois Lane. In danger because one of his criminal gang, a girl called Dixie Lamar, has shot and killed a federal agent. Dr. Bly, leader of the gang, is hiding out with Dixie and Happy, one of his henchmen, in an amusement park in Metropolis. The situation looked hopeless until he saw a photograph of Lois Lane in the Daily Planet. Then the cunning brain of Dr. Bly conceived a daring scheme. As we continue now, the imitation lighthouse which fronts the River of Horrors concession at the amusement park, the middle-aged, distinguished-looking gang leader, who had been gazing at Lois's picture, suddenly exclaimed, This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Dixie, or what's this life of sale? It's all that stuff is a robot. Oh, yeah? I don't get it. What gives? What's the pitch, Doc? Come on, beat it out. I imagine even you, Happy, have heard it said that everyone has a double somewhere in the world. Someone else who looks exactly like him or her. Like the doubles in the movies. Exactly. Your double Dixie is right here in this property. Huh? You mean this reporter, Lois Lane? Right. Look at her photo. <laughs> Don't you think she was dead bring up a big thing? Yeah. So what? Uh, just because she looks like me, I... Hey, wait. Like... I think I dig you, Doc. You mean, we tip the cops this lane, Dilly, at 60, and before they have to they've got the wrong tomato, we make a getaway, huh? Well, you almost guessed it, Happy, but you didn't go far enough. We grab Miss Lane and pass her off to the police as Dixie. But we don't stop there. We make it stick. Huh? Simply by proving that Miss Lane, who was a double for Dixie Lamar, murders the federal officer. Then Miss Lane goes to the chair. We can proceed with the big plan by the range. Gee, sir, you're wonderful. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Hold it. I don't dig you. You say we prove Miss Lane really is Dixie? Precisely. Well, how are we going to do that? Say, that's right. We can't. All Miss Lane has to do is identify herself and the jig is up. Oh, no. It's not quite so simple. Sure it is. She's an important dame. As soon as she proves she's Miss Lane, she'll have a million foolproof alibi. And me. I'm back in the, the chair again. Uh, just leave everything to me. I have a plan and it can't fail. Come on, Jeff. What's this big paper you're cooking? Yeah. After all, I'm the one who's going to... It gonna... would be better if you just do as I tell you and learn about it as the plan develops. And there won't be any danger of leaks. Or of Dixie losing her stupid head again. Oh, lay off, will you please? What do you want us to do, Doc? The first thing to do is to get Miss Lane down here. And as soon as possible. FBI and the police are combing Metropolis for Dixie, and we've got to move fast. Leave that to me, boss. I'll bring it to you. No, no, not your way, Happy. Too cruel. Let me see. Something occurred to me before. Oh, yes. I have it. Dixie. Yeah? There's a phone book there. Look up the number of the Daily Planet. Okay. That's a newspaper, huh? Yes. Now, Happy, that brother-in-law of yours, the one who owns this River of Horrors concession, how far can he be trusted? Archie, he's strictly a solid tender. If I translate that silly jive for correctly, you mean he can be trusted, right? You hear me talking? And besides, he don't dare cross me up on account he knows that if he just tries... Let me do the horrific to say is... Have you found the number yet, Dixie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is, Doc. Daily Planet, Central 20400. Central 20400. Good. Get it for me. Okay. While I'm talking, it's all to be a keep quiet. Understand? Great. If Dixie just opens her kiss, or I'll slap it shut for her. You just lay a finger on me and Jackie will sit above the house. Shut up, you fool. Give me that phone. Daily Planet. I'd like to speak with Miss Lois Lane. Just a minute. I'll ring her. Remember, not a word out of you two. Lois Lane speaking. Miss Lane, uh, this is the press agent for Playland. The famous amusement park, you know? You uh, probably know that we have celebrity nights here several times a month, at which time we select the outstanding man or woman, and here's our particular field or profession. Oh, uh, really? I... Uh, yes, we name the night in their honor and present this celebrity to the great crowd of playmen. I see. Uh, permit them to see the famous person they read and heard so much about. Uh, now, for tonight, Miss Lane, we select you. Well, that's fine. I think that's... Who, me? Uh, yes. We've chosen you as the outstanding newspaper reporter of Metropolis. And we hereby invite you to Lois Lane Night Playland. Well, that's quite an honor, but <laughs> I... Now, don't be so modest, Miss Lane. Everything...
everyone has heard about you and is anxious to see you. Now, I realize we're not giving you much advance notice, but we do hope you can arrange to be here tonight to meet your loyal public. Mr. Hemingway, very excited, Mr. Hemingway. Uh, Hemingway, Robert Hemingway. Uh, Mr. Hemingway, but I have an engagement this evening. I'm, I'm sure you can postpone your engagement for such an important occasion as this, Miss Lane. You have no idea how much you're admired. And now, even the young people are to see you, especially those who hope to be journalists and following your footsteps. Your appearance would be a great inspiration to them. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to refuse. And you appear tonight. Well, uh, yes, I'll be there. Uh, splendid. I'll send a car. Sir. That won't be necessary. Now the gas restrictions are lifted, I'm driving my own car again. What time do you want me there? Uh, shall we say uh, 8 o'clock? Good, I'll be there at 8. And thank you very much, Mr. Hemingway. Mm -hmm. I meet you at the park gate at eight. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, Corey, come on. You felt it again? Sir, sure. we went for a book line and dinner. Oh, boy, are you a smoothie duck. Yeah, but look at her. What are you going to do when she gets here? I am going to arrange that now. Come on, Abby. Okay, boy. Yeah, yeah. You stay here, Dick. I... Don't dare try to leave this room. Don't worry. With every cop in Metropolis looking for me, I wouldn't poke my nose out of this phony lighthouse for love or money. We'll take no chances. Knock the door, Abby. Okay, Don. Now, take him to your brother-in-law. Sure, this way. He's around in front of the picket pole. His small, deeply pouted eyes gleaming in his heavy, colorless face, Dr. Bly follows Happy through the gay crowd to set his trap for Lois Lane. We'll return in a moment for the climax of today's episode. But first, here again is our good friend. Space FDA, just close your eyes a minute and imagine that you have all the air squadron insignia and warplane buttons you could possibly want. Wouldn't that be terrific? Well, of course, there aren't that many, naturally, but there are 22 new ones in the Kellogg's Pep Second Series that I'll bet will make your eyes pop. Brilliant four-colored Army, Navy, and Marine air squadron insignia and warplane buttons. Yes, gang, they're really something. You know... Kids everywhere are writing me saying what a great kick they get out of swapping these impressive-looking buttons. They like the way the red, black, blue, and yellow colors stand out against the pure white enameled background when they wear them on their caps, sweaters, or jackets. There's no question about it, gang. These Kellogg's Pet Buttons are getting more popular every day. But as I told you before, you can't buy these snappy buttons anywhere. Nope. They come only in packages of Kellogg's Pet. You needn't send in a single penny, not even a box top. All you do is to see to it that Mom puts in a good supply of Kellogg's Pep at your house. Then you look in the packages for your prizes. Now, there's a prize for you in every package of Kellogg's Pep, right there in the bottom of the package, an Army, Navy, or Marine Air Squadron insignia or warplane button. You'll find the button between the carton and the inner wax bag. It's a prize for you from P.P.P. Pep. Made by Kellogg's of Battle Creek. And now, back to the adventures of Superman. Shortly after Lois Lane had accepted Dr. Bly's invitation to be guest of honor at Playland that evening, Clark Kent, Perry White, and Jimmy Olsen returned from the Daily Planet from the main wood. In Lois's office now, with Kent looking on, Jimmy is completing a vivid description of their experiences with the girl reporter. And Peter and Paul, they're the bad boys. Yeah. We're in jail with Pierre and Salvador. And Jacob and Esau. They're the good boys, Jim. Mm -hmm. That's right. They're on their way to my Aunt Isabel and Cousin Ginger's circus. I got them jobs there. And get this, Miss Lane. Mr. White gave me all the buried treasure. It comes to almost $10,000. Why, Jim. And I'm going to build her or buy a house for my mother with it. Well. Pretty nice of the chief, eh, Lois? It certainly is, Clark. But I don't understand this. I thought the map said there was a million dollars in buried treasure, and Jim's share was to be one-fourth of it. Well, the pirates, or whoever buried the treasure in Pirate's Cove a long time ago, either made a mistake in counting, or else they came back and removed most of the treasure after they buried it. Oh. What uh, happened with you while we were gone, Lois? Anything exciting? Well, I didn't get a scoop while you were gone, but uh, something else very nice happened to me. I did. What's that, Lois? You know, that would be telling. You'll find out in due time. Oh, come on, tell us, Miss Lane. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Not yet. Prefer <laughs> to be mysterious, huh? Uh-huh. But I'll tell you this much, Clark. What? When you find out about it, you'll realize that you're not as great a reporter as you think you are. Is that so? Just a minute, excuse me, that's my phone. Uh, Lois Lane, Mr. Kent there, Miss Lane? Yes, he is. Please tell him Mr. White wants to see him right away. Okay, certainly. Steve wants to talk. Oh, thanks. Now, don't go away. I want to hear more about this. Come on, now, come on, Miss Lane. Tell me what you know. Uh-uh. 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 U
sure, you bet. They got a terrific giant roller coaster there, and... Uh oh I forgot. I got a date with Dick Grayson. Dick Grayson? Oh, the boy we found in the boat that time. Well, that's right. It's a swell guy, but every time I tell him something about Superman, he comes back at me with something he heard or read about Batman. Oh, it's him. So when we landed at the airport this afternoon, I called him up and made a date to have dinner with him tonight. When I tell him what Superman did up in the North Woods, maybe he'll pipe down about Batman for a while. <laughs> I see. Well, look, maybe Dick would like to come to Playland with us. Well, hey, I'll bet he would. I'll tell you what. I'm supposed to meet him at the Y in a few minutes. Yes. We're going to take a swim and then go to dinner. Why don't I get him and meet you for dinner? Oh, of course, you'll be our guest. Well, we'll argue about the guest part later. You go ahead. You get there. and meet me downstairs in 15 minutes. I'll pick up my car first. Okay. Gee, that's well, Miss Lane. Hey, that's all we're right. I can't tell you now. See you later. What the? What's going on here, Lois? I haven't time to explain, Clark. I've got to rush, too. Wait a minute. What's the hurry, Big Day? Oh, if you only knew. If I only knew what? What is all this mystery tonight? <laughs> you'll find out. You've said that before. Can I say it again? Uh, so long, Clark. So that was Superman with Batman and Robin, story two from 1945. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.